Well, the wind continues to howl outside, and being the dead of winter, it is freezing out there. Uh, but I continue to stay inside and work on my bush fire truck. Well, it's more of a prairies fire truck because I live out on the open prairies. Hay fields all around. This is my Cross RC. You guys maybe saw the video that was previous to this where we had a dump truck fire and we got to unveil the uh, pump truck. The people that saw that will see that I've definitely done some updates, including add a winch on the uh, outside there. Got the lead sent in from my Australian buddy, Dwayne. Thank you so much. I even got your ropes on the back here too, sir. Look at this. Went in, painted, modified. One of the things I had an issue with the water cannon yesterday uh, was that I didn't know how to make it go up and down, right? I hadn't added a servo. I hadn't figured out what I wanted to do. Look at that. All I did was build a platform around the bottom of the cannon, build an arm out of an old body clip, my friends. Just stretched it out, moved it around, and now I can move the cannon up and down, and I can also move it from side to side with no worry at all of any uh, cable ca catching on anything. Plenty of room to move all the way around. So now I can move up and down and side to side at the same time. On the back is actually my tank of water. This is the breather tube. When I go out to a fire, we just remove this. This whole tank of water actually runs into a pump system, pump and motor right here. The pump goes up through the center into the top of this whole uh, servo and gear on the outside, up into the water cannon. Here's a look at it from this side. There is the servo right there, and of course the arm just moves up and down. Pretty straightforward. I'm running this on the dial right here on the side. I'll leave a link to this radio uh, in the video description box. It's what I use on most of my construction equipment because they have these dials. They're very easy and they're self-centering. So this dial moves up and down. And then of course on the other side that just moves me left and right. And then when I let go it brings it right back to center, right? So uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. Uh, I love exactly what I'm looking at. Of course I drilled out the center of the uh, smaller cannon. I removed the top cannon uh, because just the way I built it I didn't drill it uh, to have the top cannon work. So I opened up the opening here. Now what happens when you open up the opening on a pressure system? You lose a bit of pressure. Uh, so it doesn't shoot as far as I'd like it to. I would like to uh, increase the voltage uh, of my battery to 14 uh, or to a 4S battery, which is almost 16 volts uh, at full, full charge, almost 17 even. Uh, but uh, it's a little 12 volt uh, motor. I did do some preliminary tests on a second motor that I have. It did just fine. Uh, so, But instead of ripping out the ESC today, I'm going to order in a small 4S LiPo because the only ones I have are huge and uh, we'll just see how this goes. Now in the last video I was actually commenting about like I would like to actually have this shoot foam and so I had a retired firefighter, I had lots of other people uh, in the comment section make a comment before and thank you all uh, just to put a little bit of soap into my water tank or I could even run a venturi tube off to the side uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to put some soap in there today. I have no idea how much liquid detergent to put in. Here's an egg cup. That is way too much. Uh, I'll probably just put in like a quarter of this into the container and uh, see how that goes. Now it is just an open spout on the end. Is it going to give us bubbles? I don't know but here's my thinking if it doesn't. I love cheap hacks when especially when I'm using it. Look at this. This is a pen lid off of a, a Bic pen. Look at the end of that. That would definitely be an awesome nozzle if I cut that off and then it just depends. It might cover the whole front of my truck uh, with foam, but does that really matter? Not really, especially for having to put out the fire. Oh yeah, everybody that watched my Tonka dump truck fire, don't worry, the Tonka dump truck is made of metal and uh, there is no harm done at all. Don't worry, it's tough. Yeah, I could cut that off, put that on the end. Ew. What a beautiful ride, guys. If you're into the RC hobby, you are looking at this right now going, I got to get one of those. Super cool. Okay, so let's go out and do uh, test number two. We might as well see uh, if the soap works. I'm still going to use the same Tonka dump truck because uh, really I've been focused on building this and I haven't uh, done anything else. But when this is perfected, then I can go out and build a building or something. 
I love this style of truck, guys. Six by six, doing heavy hauling the way it should be. Glad the wind calmed down while we we're filming. Kids, remember, don't play with fire, please. This is all just for the movie. And it, adult supervision, I'm supervising myself. Beautiful. Love the sound of fire. Now, to test out the fire truck. Left and right, or right and left, I should say, up and down, everything's reversed in my camera. There we go. It moves a lot of water now. Oh yeah, up and down certainly helps. Unbelievable, it's starting to foam. Anybody need to go to the bathroom right now? Or is it just me? It might be due to my age. <laughs> I'm loving the foam effect. Probably could use a little bit more uh, soap in there. But that looks good. There we go, we are out and so is the fire. <laughs> yes, that was fantastic, exactly what I envisioned. So I didn't get as much foam as I wanted. Maybe I added too much soap, maybe I did not add enough. What are your thoughts? Do I need a different nozzle? It had a pretty good stream on it. It had a pretty good distance. Well, it definitely seemed to me that the foam uh, sure worked a lot better at the end, uh, at the end of the cycle, of course, when it was grabbing air and giving it more of a chance to uh, foam up. I wonder how I could get that to work even better. If you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them. Uh, please post them up in the comment section down below. Uh, you know I'm always reading those comments, and you guys help give me great ideas all the time. So I thank you for that. I thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Remember, do not play with fire, please use your RCs uh, uh, safely and always in respect out here I'm in literally the middle of nowhere and so everything is quite controlled but we'll see you in the next episode guys I look forward to reading what you got to say <laughs> I thought you guys would get amused with this this is how cold it is outside all of the bubbles turn to ice <laughs> Wow